Computing stresses and strains. First, a few definitions. Thin wall sections have uh, some new forces uh, over what you'd find in compact sections. One is bimoment, which is the warping constant times the second derivative of twist. Warping shear, which is the rate of change at bimoment. And warping torsion, which is the is proportional to the third derivative of twist. And you can get these values out of the thin wall bollers application from structures office. So if you need a refresher, you can see the papers at uh, structuresoffice.com. There's uh, two papers there on torsion of open and closed sections, or PDF files that you can download. Uh, some textbooks, Mechanics of Elastic Structures by Odin and Rippinger is a very good overview of the analysis of thin wall sections, has some very nice diagrams. Introduction to the Theory of Thin Wall Structures by Murray and the Theory of Thin Wall Bars by Jelsvik. So that said, let's get started. Now we're going to walk through the process of applying loads on the section and plotting out the results. So here we have our three cell section and we've done the section properties calculations. If we go over here to on the computations tab create load case you can see the various loads that we're going to apply horizontal and vertical shear, the axial force, the moments about X and Y, the torsion, warping torsion, and by moment. Let's start out by applying uh, let's apply a vertical shear. Apply forces and do the summation check. Summation check after the loads are applied, it takes the stresses and sums it over the area of the section. And so you can do, see a comparison of uh, what was applied versus the results. And we see that Johnson method's off about three and a half pounds. The Afano method's off by less than a pound. Once that's done, we can go over to the st stress plots becomes active. And let's plot the Afano bending shear. Now, over here is our evaluation uh, dialog. And uh, you can control the location of the cursor on the section by moving the slide bar. On each branch of the sections, you'll see uh, the uh, result at, this, at the start of the branch and the end of the branch, and also the maximum value on that branch. The black arrows define the direction of parameterization. And when the shear stresses are in the same direction as the parameterization, they're positive, which is this orange color. If we move over to the, let's go to this branch here. You see it's considered negative because it's opposite of the direction of the parameterization, which is it's parameterized down. But the direction of those arrows in, uh, defines the true direction of the shear stress. Now you can at any time say, let's uh, get the running load over a portion of the section and let's just click the branch start and click start run load and click branch end and then calculate the running load and it tells us that the results for Alfano for the bending shear is 308 pounds. If you go over here to the results, let me slide this out a little bit. You'll see the, it shows results for bending shear, torsion, warping shear, warping direct, uh, the resultant direct, and uh, von Mises. Uh, the symbols, uh, the comma A means Alfano, comma J is uh, Johnson, and then the delta between the two. So it gives them the minimum stress, where that minimum occurs, the maximum, where it occurs, and then there's a description over here. So there's the final result, the Johnson result, and then this shows the delta between those two. Uh, 
Uh, let's go through and change that load and apply torsion. Let's apply a torsional stress on that, okay? Oh, one thing I should say before I leave this. Uh, if we go to, for the bending shear, if we say show the vertical, the normalized value, you'll see a plot that should be just the same as the, uh, what we did with the stress plot, but it's, uh, it's as if a unit load was applied. So a unit vertical uh, force was applied to the section going upwards. And you see that this is uh, 0 0.01695. If we multiplied that by 1,000, we should see, because we applied a, a, thousand, uh, a force of 1,000 pounds, that should match this value here. So it should be 16.9. Let's go do that. They are the same. Uh, let's, uh, let's apply a torsional load. And you see that's a pretty good match. Let's go over and say, let's plot, and we can plot just the torsion over the section. Slide our cursor over the section. And um, we can see the resultant, resultant shear. So this is the combination of the shear force from the uh, vertical load and also a torsional load. Let's, uh, let's apply, let's get rid of these two, and let's just do a bimoment. Okay, if you remember, the bimoment is the second derivative of the, it's proportional to the second derivative of the twist on the section. Apply it. Look at our results. It's, looks good. Now, if you look at the geometric results for contour warping on the section, that should correspond with the shear stresses that, or the direct stresses that we get from the by moment. Let's look at Johnson by moment, and again we can slide over. We can do our running loads. We can move the cursor over the section. You see we're not seeing, when the results are constant over the, the transverse direction of the branch, it's uh, not going to show that uh, large plot for the cursor. It's constant across the whole section. So, Oh yeah, you can go to the max positive, max negative. Um, Let's look at warping torsion. And apply it. And you see we're off by about 15 pounds on Johnson and off by less than a pound on Alfano. And let's plot. This would be warping shear on the section. So <clears throat> you can see these results on the section. Uh, and let's apply a warping shear and a by, by moment together. Let's plot, let's do von Mises. This is the von Mises values over the section, and they're considered constant through the transversely across the section. And I think that gives you a pretty good rundown on how to apply forces and get results. I, what I find useful is if um, I get a snapshot of that screen and I go to the uh, 
you know, swap between Johnson and Alfano and see that the results and make sure they match. Uh, that gives me, that gives you a feeling of confidence in the results. But thanks for listening.